Okay, this is Fahrenheit part 13. 13. Unlucky for some, but not when you're playing Fahrenheit. Hello. My name is Barney. Detective Carla Valenti. You've come to see Janos, isn't that right? He's down in the second corridor on the right. When you're finished, oh, another power outage. Six times a day. Not surprising, though, with this cold weather. Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. Remember, Janice's cell. No, that's definitely going to come up later, isn't right. it? I'm going to have to turn the generator on, or something. Wait and open the cell for you. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you, Barney. Barney. That's got to be a Half-Life reference, isn't it? I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer. There was no doubt about that. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten killings. Well, Barney is the first, is the in Half Life One when you get off the monorail. It's the name of the security guard that you meet. So that must be a. Half-Life reference, because in Half-Life One, all the security guard models—it's like a generic model, so all the security guards look the same. But then Barney is like, in, and then he's in Half-Life Two, and as Barney, yeah, they do a similar thing with uh, the scientists. In Half-Life One, there's like. Hello, detectives. I'll wait for you here. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, I need to, because her health is really low, I need to look if there's more of those tokens around, because... So I don't get wrecked all the time. But yeah, shouldn't put a Half-Life reference in this game. Remind me of a good game I could be playing instead of this. The original Half-Life is still really fun. I played that, replayed that maybe two years ago, two or three years ago. Still really great. Look at that guy. He looks like... Like Wolverine. Superhero movies are pretty popular at the moment, so that reference most YouTube viewers will get that reference. Not like the last episode where it's all Russian Orthodox Church stuff. What's that guy's job? What is he contributing? <laughs> oh, he's checking on the patients, yes. Yeah. I don't know how it works in the States with um, these kind of institutions as to whether he would be a public sector employee or not. Because that seems to be a recurring feature in this game. Is David Cage depicting public sector employees as like incompetent, or useless, or lazy, or, you know, performing jobs that aren't required. But I don't know if it's from a right-wing perspective, because he was doing it, like, for, like, he, the police officers, like, are just abysmal in this, like, I think, I assume with David Cage, it's probably more of a sort of libertarian sort of thing going on. Or more likely, it's, I'm reading a bit too much into it, I don't think this game has such a has any message whatsoever, really. Um, okay, there's no tokens. Go meet this guy who paid up nowhere. <laughs> the things I've seen, you people would not believe.
Yeah, a lot, all the characters in this game have that sort of... Oh, God, there's a FIFA game, maybe like FIFA 2011 or something, where you could scan your face into the game, and basically this was always the result. Things like that. Just like that weird... When they like wrap a scan around a polygonal shape. movie is David Cage referencing? Please let me know in the comments below. It's so subtle, it's gone completely over my head. Same as with the last episode, I could not for the life of me figure out what movie he had seen. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti of the New York Police Department. <laughs> I'd like to ask you a few questions. That's borderline copyright infringement. <laughs> it's this guy. I read in your file that you often had um, visions of some sort. Would you like to talk to me about them? Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, <laughs> Detective Valenti? I'm mad, you know. What I have to say is... There's a lot of British expats in this game, isn't there? Right? Maybe it'll make sense to me. None it's of them have quite succeeded in the American dream, though. A man and a woman. The immigrant in story a is not really working out for them. She's a little overweight. <laughs> he has a nice plant in his yes, what movie is this referencing? How do you well, he's got blue on his face, so... I was there. I can see Perhaps Avatar? James Cameron's knows. Avatar. I'm there. Who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. He's among us. Invisible. He's everywhere. It's Father Christmas. Why is he killing people? He wants to see the other side. He's looking for a little girl. He's been waiting for a long time. <laughs> he wants her. And will do anything to get her. <laughs> Why are these killings happening? Why must these people die? Oh, the world's not what you think it is. The Orange Clan has simply <laughs> running everything. Yes, <laughs> listen to us all of the time. They record what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They're everywhere. It's Father Christmas. I said it was Father Christmas. They want ultimate power. <laughs> ultimate power. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Anton. It's already too late. We're <laughs> gonna die from the cold. <laughs> the dawn of a new race. The end of humanity. <laughs> the end of humanity. <laughs> yes. With this scene, David Cage is asking, who is really insane? Who is to say what true insanity is? Another very original message from David Cage. That was a funny line. It's like, what do they want? Ultimate power. That is not a motivation for a villain. So we've established the motivation for the bad guys in this game is they want ultimate power. What happened to uh, those... I thought there was meant to be like five Avatar movies coming out or something. What happened to all those? There hasn't even been a second one, has there? I don't think. Yeah, he's got a bit of blue on his face there at the side. Oh, he's on his arms as well. This decoration is good. Uh, like... What do you call Spirolographs? Is that what they're called? Sort of spiral drawn hundreds of times on the wall of the cell. Why is he obsessed by this symbol? Big. Big Dreamcast fanboy. 
Oh, that's why he's got blue on his face as well. Maybe he's tried to put the Dreamcast logo on his face. He, he fits all the demographics of a Dreamcast enthusiast. Pale, greasy hair. Talks a bit like... Like a bit nerdy, but not like IT nerd, but sort of more like... Um, goth nerd sort of voice. I think that was the same voice actor as the, um... Oh, what's that guy? Not the Abattoir, what was he called again? Where they dice, they investigate their bodies. Coroner. The coroner. Everything go alright? I'll walk you to the... <laughs> that guy's face. <laughs> Damn it. This time it looks serious. Oh, is it the generator? It looks to me like our backup electrical generator... Oh, what a surprise. It'll come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. We'll wait here in the meantime. What was that noise? Oh shit. The cell doors. <laughs> the cell doors been opened. Uh. The electrical outage <laughs> screwed up the auto lock system. What? You mean the patients are free to leave their cells and Please. nothing? Don't move. Don't make any noise. We don't want them to locate us here. Just keep cool. And we'll wait for the lights to come on. This game's sensitive portrayal of mental health continues. I have to move from here. Oh no. I don't breathe more calmly. Oh, come on. And then they get me for sure. Oh god, hurry. Find a way out of here. This is although this is karma for me, isn't it? Cuz I think in the last episode I was you know, complacently like laughing at the game. I was like, "Huh, I haven't heard about her claustrophobia for a while." Look at this. Not quite instant karma, but... Oh, God. Yeah, not quite instant karma, but... I have no... I can't even see where I'm going. I deserve this. I deserve this. I hear one coming. I mean, a, uh, a patient. He's going away. I can keep moving. Yeah, this game, I'm really not enjoying this game at all. I think in every episode, I'm like, oh yeah, the visuals are good. It's because I'm like clutching for something positive to say about the experience, but it's just, it's just not a good game at all. That gameplay is severely lacking. I mean, I understand it's meant to be a narrative-focused experience, but the narrative is embarrassing. I mean... <laughs> what? That's how everything came what?! An end. I couldn't control my fear. That you look... it ended up killing me. What was that? I never know what really like Michael Jackson from The Simpsons steps out randomly from nowhere and I'm dead. Just while well, I'm in the middle of saying how much I don't like this game. It's just... And you can't use the excuse, oh, it's an old game. Oh, it came out in 2005. For its, for its time, it was breaking new ground for narrative games. Like, I think of games like... When did Silent Hill 2 come out? That was 2001, 2002, maybe, I think. Oh, no. I hear what's coming. He's getting so close. Please, Carla, don't move. Hold your breath. And I just think about how... He's going away. More going. impactful and original and fascinating that game's narrative was. Or just the overall experience. And again, Silent Hill 2. It's not like the gameplay in Silent Hill 2 is particularly amazing, like the controls are really clunky. Right there. Oh god. That's how everything came to an end. Like the controls are bad in Silent Hill 2, and I criticize this game for having bad controls, but 
it's like in, in terms of narrative, and not just in terms of narrative, as a game, because Silent Hill 2 sort of uses, I guess, as we kind of saw with the movie, or I don't know if there's more than one, but the original Silent Hill movie, but a lot of Silent Hill 2, why it's so good, kind of rests on it being a video game, and it maybe would not be so impactful as a movie or something like that. Whereas this, it's barely interactive. It's, it manages to be barely interactive, but extremely difficult at the same time. Um, and you know, if this wasn't the game, I mean... Like, if this was a TV movie, like, it would be a very poor TV movie. Like, you know... He's going for it. I can keep moving. Ah, oh, this would better be the right way. So, yeah, if I wasn't... Like, it's fun to, like, play this once a week for half an hour and have a drink or whatever and laugh at it for a bit, but if I was, like, not streaming it, I probably would not see it through to completion. What is this? <laughs> what is that guy wearing? Like, he looks like Michael Jackson from The Simpsons, the guy at the back there. Barney! Barney! Open up! Mm, thank God you made it out. I don't know what the hell could have happened. The auto lock system opened all of the cell doors. Are you hurt? Yeah, you really should get the generator replaced, shouldn't you, Barney? Like you were saying. Great, Barney. <laughs> I feel great. Don't take it out, Barney. He's just doing his job. Oh, I'm really disappointed. The games remembered the her claustrophobia. I had nowhere to go. I was exhausted. I felt like I was gonna die, either from the cold or from hunger. I hoped that I could rest for a couple of hours at Tiffany's place, get my energy back, figure out what to do next. I'd only been to her new apartment once before. I only had a vague memory of exactly where it was, but I was sure that this was the street. The hell is that above me? What's that? Oh, it's his hat. <laughs> it's like when she was holding the gun and it was blocking everything. <laughs> oh, he's wearing a different costume. He's finally realized that wearing the exact same clothes that he wore when doing a murder was maybe not the best idea. Alternate costume unlocked. It's like when you finish Tomb Raider and then you get to play it again, but this time Lara Croft wears a different costume. I mean, seriously, why is this game not called Heavy Snow? That would have been such a good name. Tie everything together. Another homeless person. I get the feeling they're everywhere, <laughs> watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I must be getting paranoid. <laughs> oh, Lucas, we did like you, but that was not not his finest hour. Assume that I'd show up here looking for a place <laughs> Why would they be parked outside in a police car? <laughs> Why would they just park outside in wouldn't they be in an unmarked car? Oh come why? See why do I have to do that? This is what I mean. <laughs> the game, there's such little gameplay in this game, and what there is of it is deep. Like, this is so arbitrary that I, this is a gameplay section. You know, half. Oh, God. Like, 
you know, 50% of the time it's a cutscene, he climbs over the fence. But now, for some reason, for no reason, I have to, like, do it myself, and it's not fun to play. It's not engaging. Because there's no engagement to it, because it's not like I've, my actions have any consequences. It's like either I fail or I succeed. There's no moments of sus yeah, it's just... I'm really down on this game at the moment. <sighs> Although I have to just stay motivated. The promise of Tiffany's place. And what Tiffany's place might hold. It's got to see me through this. <laughs> Use my skills learned in uh, in the Baghdad Green Zone. He was climbing up the fence there, wasn't he? section. Oh, come on, that takes points off me. <laughs> Just do Matrix stuff again. This has been pretty grim so far, hasn't it, this part? Don't move, kid. Oh, what? Just stay calm and everything will be fine. Don't turn around. Slowly lift your hands up. Yeah, this is actually starting to get to be a real low point. Why doesn't he just do Matrix stuff again? Like, he can fly, like... Oh. Okay. Just stay calm and everything will be fine. <sighs> Don't turn around. Slowly lift your hands up. Oh my god, I don't see how I'm meant to do this, because I thought I'd just climb over this fence, but And again with the limited gameplay, I'm not trying to figure out a route, I'm just running up against a wall waiting for the prompt. What? That worked last time! Just stay calm and everything will be fine. Don't turn around. I'm just running up against walls, like, hoping an icon comes up on the screen. Just do Matrix stuff, come on. There's the icon. Ah, oh, don't do that. Do you see how long that drain pipe is? Oh, this is good. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> oh, this part. This part is take. <sighs> this is definitely got to be up there with one of the worst episodes so far. Look at the state of that. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I can't even drink while playing this part, which is the only redeeming feature of this game. I have to actually, like, pay attention. What? I'm just going to drop down and do a cool, like, Sam Fisher thing on him. This is good. The controls have reversed here, so that... Uh... I now have to press forwards to go sideways. Oh, no. 
<laughs> He's gonna land on them. <laughs> oh come on! Make him land on them. This is how my story. Snow Angel. Oh. I was just thinking then, what if it puts me back before the drain pipe? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this right now. I want to like grab David Cage's head and like ram it right up against his screen and make him watch this. In what universe can you justify this? Why we didn't see Tiffany again? I can't even remember. Well, last time Tiffany w was involved, he wanted it. So I assume that's the prime motivation again here. Can you imagine if I kill this? <sighs> last, that's gonna be the last one, right? It's not going to make me do another one. Oh, no! Oh. Okay, that's nonsense. I was further along that time. I should have fallen on top of it. Why can't Tiffany just have a ground floor apartment? Advantages of ground floor apartments. Could have a nice little uh, like garden area, barbecue area. Downside security issues. You gotta feel vulnerable. But that's often reflected in lower rent prices. So, as with most things in life, you have to weigh up the pros and cons. He looks like, uh, that looks like, um, sort of latter day Eminem. Can you imagine if I fail this again? I mean, this is absolutely dreadful to play. I cannot imagine what it's like to watch. <laughs> Extremely grim. And again, these, I'm just randomly mashing buttons. So it's just like, it feels like it's in the lap of the gods whether I succeed or fail, really. You beauty. Lucas Kane. Absolute legend. Oh, actually, he's not anymore, is he? Because he said that stuff about homeless people. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless that this exists. And I know if I fail this drain pipe, I'm going right back to the start. I don't. Where am I going? Where does Tiffany live? They're guarding a door there, so where am I going now? Do I go up these stairs? No. Like, where am I going? And where, what is the narrative intrigue in this game at this point? The cops know who the killer is, we know who the killer is. We're meant to care about whatever demonic thing is going on with him. 
That window leads to Tiffany's apartment. If only I could find a way to open it. She does have a ground floor apartment. Oh, come on. I wonder if this is included in the unit, this back. Uh, this little area here. Imagine the summer, pretty nice. Little spot there. Could have friends over. Barbecue. Some beers, music. Okay, I just... I'm sorry. If anyone's watching this, and um, you know, I don't feel ob obligated to sit through this, to be quite honest. The World Cup's on. Just go, you know, watch that. This is just. <laughs> Surprise, Tiffany! <laughs> she burst through the window. <laughs> It's your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? I actually don't think I can do this. He wouldn't do that. There's no way it's stuck. I can't figure out if I'm meant to do that because that felt physically impossible to do that. Or if I'm meant to find something to open it with. Yep. He's going to put a brick through a window <laughs> and then burst in. <laughs> I've changed, Tiffany. <laughs> I'm not the man you think I am. Oh, come on, at least just throw it through the window. <laughs> oh, I set the brick down very carefully. <laughs> Imagine Tiffany right now. <laughs> just watching. Why is she not like screaming in utter terror? Look at the uh, pre-rendered background there. Too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment like a common criminal, but I had no choice. <laughs> I hadn't eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak and tired. So his prime motivation for going to Tiffany's apartment is not to see Tiffany; it's to raid her fridge. Okay, let's. Oh, what? Oh, come on, just let me look around the place. I just like I've had enough of the action stuff. Just let's chill out. Let's explore this Resident Evil bedroom. Ah, so concerning here for Lucas as he it's a double bed. Lamp on either side. Gotta be worried about that, Lucas. Uh, laptop does not appear to have a Spitfire background. Oh, we've got another sh Shakespeare enthusiast. She has a similar attitude to Lucas when it comes to interior decorating. Lucas should be careful. I'm looking here. This is a lot of objects that can um, teleport themselves into the air and then throw themselves at him. Look at that. Like this thing here. Each of those rolls of wallpaper could individually throw themselves at him. And those two Amazon boxes there. Got a paintbrush, a couple of paint cans. I'd be concerned if I was him. Not like a character in this game to have an absolutely enormous downtown New York apartment. I think basically David Cage. David Cage's entire knowledge of New York comes from friends, I think. Oh, 
Oh, Tiffany, don't leave out individual... Oh, no, don't start throwing stuff at me. And for an expert's point of view on the subject, uh, we have with us today one of the most renowned specialists on Mayan civilization, Professor Dmitry Kuryakin of the Mesoamerican University. It's a ratings winner. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan rituals. <laughs> I wanted to ask you... A specialist the coroner again. Civilization. He'd know what Kecticlan means. No <laughs> 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 Blood Rain is home. Oh, she took her jacket off. I was like, but she like, did a costume change. The police are looking for me. I needed a place to hide for a few hours. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh. Um, the papers are saying that you killed several people. Is it true? The whole thing is very complicated. All I can tell you is that I am not a murderer. I know you're not capable of doing what they said you did, Lucas. You have to explain. You have to tell them you're innocent. I've got to find out exactly what's happened to me, Tiffany. That's the only way I can prove my innocence. Uh-oh, it's the new boyfriend. <sighs> We're going to get to see the exact moment Lucas's heart breaks in two. Lucas, it's the police. What are we going to do? Look, I'm sure they just want to ask you a few questions. <laughs> he looks just stoned all the time. <laughs> I'll, I'll hide in your apartment. <laughs> You'll see. What? Ms. Harper? Ms. Harper, are you home? Yes. Wait a second. I'm coming. I don't mean the future Miss. <laughs> Look at that graphic up there. <laughs> Miss Harper, the future Mrs. Kane. Wait, I have to. What is that? Luke's face sticking out from like a cereal bowl? <laughs> what is that? Let's check out the bathroom. <laughs> it's just a ma <laughs> the boiler, just ma <laughs> an enormous water boiler in the corner. Uh, oh shit, better hide, I think. Please show that shot again of his face in between the top. Miss Harper? Yes? I'm Detective Simon <laughs> Miles, NYPD. I'm working on the Lucas Kane case. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? <laughs> Look at the village we're people involved, caught yes. behind him. But we separated. We broke up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Kane recently? Has he tried to contact you? I went by his apartment the day before yesterday to pick up the last of my things. The day before yesterday? That feels like an eternity. God, this game is going on and on. Around your apartment? Well, it's just that... Hey, I'll only be a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> his face in the door. <laughs> No. <laughs> you can see his face through the door. Doing a little redecorating? Yes, the apartment wasn't in very good shape, so I've been painting it. It's taking a long time to get out. I don't have much time to. What do you do? I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. <laughs> Raise your hands up where I can see you. You have the right to remain. <laughs> the doors spring open. <laughs> this is how much ends. I'll never know what really happened to me in that East End restaurant uh. on that cold January night. 
Is the door's like spring open like a jack in the box. Put your hands up where I can see them because I can clearly see you through that door. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, maybe I'll hide in a different place. Miss Harper, are you home? Yes, just a second. I'm coming. Find the most comical possible hiding place. That icon, the hide icon, is pretty good. Under the bed. I think I'll go under the bed this time. Let's see if there's a funnier one I can do. Okay, that one would be pretty good. <laughs> Crouching under the table. Where's that one? Oh no, don't go. Oh, behind the curtain. Wow, this scene, there's some really good options here. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go under the table, I think. <laughs> uh, maybe. No. Curtain. Lucas, I can't keep them waiting anymore. I've got to open the door. Is she just gonna open it with me just standing in the middle of the room? Miss Harper? Yes? I'm Detective Todd of Miles NYPD. I'm working on the Lucas Kane case. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? We're involved, yes. But we separated. We broke up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Kane recently? Can I skip this? He tried to contact you? I went by his apartment the day before yesterday to pick up the last of my things. We hardly spoke. I haven't heard from him since. Do you mind if I look around your apartment? Well, it's... It's just that... Hey, I'll only be a minute. Go ahead. Don't know where I'm hiding. Blew it. I think he's behind the curtain, isn't he? <laughs> oh. Oh, what? That sucks. He's under the bed. So that whole scene... Again, this game, that was pointless. The hide... Like, run to hide somewhere. Like, if I don't hide anywhere, it just defaults to another bed. Doing a little redecorating? Yes, the apartment wasn't in very good shape, so I've been painting it. It's taking a long time with my job. I don't have much time to... And what do you do? <laughs> I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. That's why she can only aff afford a ground floor apartment. Those are so fast. That is ridiculous. I think the issue is there's two, two icons. If there's just one, it would be okay, but it's too hard to. I two. broke the glass while moving some furniture last week. <laughs> the window repairman promised to stop in today, but I guess he forgot me. Mom, why is Eminem hiding under the bed? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't move or I shoot. What? This is how my story ends. I'll never know. <laughs> well, I was pretty dignified. It. Oh, come on. So how do I even finish the scene? Because I got great. It said great. I passed the thing. Miss Harper, are you home? Yes. Just a second. I'm coming. Yes, <sighs> I can't keep them waiting anymore. I've got to open the door. I have no idea how the mechanics of this game work. Oh, I guess that's an instant fail state if you're under the bed, because I didn't hide in time. But then why not just fail me straight away? Like, put me in the Sorry. middle of the room, and yeah. I failed here. I'm Detective Todd of Instead of making me waste my time with all those QTs. I'm working on the Lucas and I have to sit through this again. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? We're involved, yes. But Sorry, we're this chapter is really bad. Up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Kane? Hopefully we can bounce back with something better in part 14. I went by this is a real low point. Day before yesterday to pick up it's my fault my as well. A plate. <laughs> He's like clearly a view. I'll only be a minute. He's like clearly on view through the door. Oh, I really just want to finish this now. 
Although, as I learned previously, passing these QTEs, I still fail the game. So I guess you don't only have to finish the QTEs, you also have to, um... Choose the right hiding place as well. Yes, the apartment wasn't in very good shape, so I've been painting it. How will this be the right hiding place? You could literally see it from the door. And what do you do? I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. That village people cop has a perfect view of Lucas right now. Yeah, I'm sorry about this part. I'm not informed. Window here. You know, I've been kind of grouchy about the game, the glass, it's been annoying to play, I failed a lot, like I've not really been on board with the gameplay. It's just been a bad day at the office all around, I think. Yeah, I don't think I should have played this tonight. <clears throat> oh god. Thank you for your cooperation, miss. <laughs> if Kane does try to recontact you, please call me right away. Here's my card. That is ridiculous that that is the pass hiding place. Like that's the hiding place you meant to choose. Be careful, miss. He can see him Kane's right now! Dangerous man. That doesn't make any sense. Because you see him, he pulls back the shower curtain, so if you're in the shower, you get caught every time. Basically, every place you get caught every time, apart from where I was. Which is insane. Because that was the worst hiding place. This man I'd barely seen on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection there could be between the Mayans and what had happened to me. But at that point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense out of the nightmare. <laughs> Hello, Agent uh, I'm a journalist, and I have an appointment with Professor Kiryakin. The professor's waiting for you. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Because... Yeah, that was really bad. I'm sorry. That did not go well tonight. I'll try and be better in the next part. I'll put, try and play better, I'll try and be more happy about the game. Um, yeah, part 13 was bad. But we will bounce back in part 14. <laughs>